my queen. <laughs> but it's very sad that um, there are some people who think that when we advocate and highly recommend marriage, we are selling people dreams that maybe it's always smooth and rosy. No, that's not the case. Some of us entered marriage with a mindset of understanding that it's a journey. A journey that has seasons. And seasons change. That's life. But in that process, nothing beats having a partner by your side. When life throws a kick at you, at least they are there to hold your hand. And the same goes for them. Some of us understand that if I cannot always get along, how much more? We understand that it is a good thing to hold somebody's hand in this life. We also understand that it's not always about pointing fingers and wanting the right man or woman. But it's also about being the right person yourself. It's not always about pointing out I'm a red flex that in the next person can bring. It's also about acknowledging that you have your own red flex that you need to work on. That what that's what marriage has taught some of us. And so far we are finding the journey pleasurable because we understand that with all our imperfections. At least there is somebody after God. There is someone on this earth who is willing to help where they can, who is willing to love you as much as they can. And for us women, someone who is willing to honor and respect a man regardless. So never can we ever advocate and say we are always happy. There are dry seasons. There are seasons where doors are not opening. But how much more, how much better it is to have someone to cry, laugh, and annoy. <laughs> not that we are better than anyone who is not yet married or divorced. Not that those who are married have better things to offer than those who are not. It's all about living under the grace of God. All we gotta do is be grateful.